So one of the things I like to do in my veggie garden is try and attract pollinators to it so it, I get the most fruit out of my veggies. Now right next to the zucchini, um, you know, I planted this basil which will hopefully produce uh, lots and lots of little flowers when it does come to that time and that will attract all the native bees and everything and hopefully increase the production of my veggie patch. Uh, now I've also gone around the garden and collected all the lady beetles I can find and I've put them on my zucchini because I'm getting a, a small aphid problem and um, yeah as you can see if you look under the leaves I've now got hundreds and hundreds of lady beetle larvae just munching away and taking care of the aphids so I don't have to use any chemicals and sprays at all. Um, now I can also see I've got a few holes in my basil which can mean uh, some slugs or snails or, or little crickets have gone in. Now to control the slugs all you need to do is get a bottom of a, a bottle and cut it off and bury it in the ground and um, use some old wine or some beer that you know isn't important to you and the fermenting actually uh, the smell actually attracts all the slugs and they come in and go down and uh, go for a nice little sip there and they uh, can't get out and they drown and that will collect quite a lot of slugs so every few days you top it up and empty it and that will control your your slugs so that means there's no need for baiting and getting rid of that and uh you know potentially exposing your pets to slugs uh bait and snail bait so yeah there's a few tips to help your veggie patch um hopefully produce more and uh, handle uh some critters by not baiting or spraying yeah